So, getting your brains developed is very important. It reminds me of this joke that I heard uh, years ago. This man needs a brain transplant. So he went to the neurosurgeon, and the neurosurgeon says, Sir, you need a brain transplant. Let me take you to the brain shop to buy your new brain. <laughs> he goes to the brain shop with his wife, and on the shelves are all these little brains that he can buy. So which one would you pick for your new brain? Uh, the, the man says, how much are the brains? And he saw all the male brains were $10,000 each. Then he turned to the other side. All the female brains were only $100. <laughs> so he got pretty arrogant, you know, so very, massive, very uh, sexist. He says, hmm, see, the male brain is worth more money than the female brain. Then he nudged his wife. See, the male brain is worth more money than your brain. So he asked, out of curiosity and out of a little bit of arrogance, he asked the doctor, so why is it that the male brain is so expensive and the female brain is, is not expensive? And the doctor tells, tells him this, you see, the, the female brain, they have been used before, so it's secondhand. But the male brain never used in their life, brand new. That's why it's so expensive. Come on, give all the girls a big hand clap. So you want your brain not to be expensive, you want your brain to be used. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Not your neighbor say, use your, brain. use your brain. So this series of teaching is called the Genesis of a Genius. The beginning of a genius. You can begin your journey towards being a genius. You can begin your journey towards being a bright, smart, brilliant person if you start training your mind. Amen? So I say one more time. You are not born intelligent, neither are you born stupid. You are born with the potential. That's a big word here, potential. And how you, do you get your potential? You use your brains. So again, I say intelligence is the result of thinking. The more you think, the more you use your brains, the more intelligent we become. So the truth is, the more you use your brain and think, the more intelligent you become. So use it. You know, the, the worst form of laziness. You know, generally, young people are lazy, right? You know, people always say young people are lazy. Kind of true, all right? But you know what's the worst form of laziness? The worst form of laziness is laziness of the mind. It's a mental laziness. And when I meet young people like you, and if I see you mentally lazy, I'm very concerned for you. See, I've, I've, I've had thousands of young people that I've known. Sometimes I would say to young people, I say, hey, can you help me move these three chairs and move it all the way to the back? And they'll get out and they'll pick up the chair and they'll run. They're very willing. They're not lazy at all. But then I say, hey, can you help me? What's uh, 7 multiplied by 13? Ah, uh, uh, 7 multiplied by 13. Where's my handphone? Uh? Uh, where's the calculator? 7. Or, or some, of, uh, some people, 7, 13. They, they just, uh, I won't do it. Let my friend do it. You know, even right now, when I say this, some of you don't even want to try 7 multiplied by 13. Some of you are, uh, this is not relevant. Why? Because you're mentally lazy. You don't like to use your brains. And that is the worst form of laziness. Use your brain. Use every opportunity to use your brains because when you use it, you work it, you exercise it. So, it's not good to be lazy. But the worst form of laziness is your brain. So, and, and how many of you know what I'm talking about? That some of your friends, or maybe if you're honest with yourself, is that we don't like to use our brains. We, we don't mind being physical. We don't mind doing sports. We don't mind doing stuff that is physical, that, that doesn't require our brain. But when you require to engage your brain, you cannot shut down. Turn to your neighbor and say, don't be lazy in the brain. Use your brain. 
Amen. Listen to this. Glenn Dolman, and he's another brain researcher, and, and he did an experiment, or, or rather he, he, had a, uh, he did um, a study, and he had, listen, brain-injured children, all right? Brain-injured children between the ages of three, four, and five years old. They are brain-damaged. He took them, and then he compared these groups of, of children with, with another group of healthy, normal children in a normal family. He took the three, four, five-year-old and he taught them a foreign language, not their native language, where the other group, normal children like you and I, just go up, grow up normally. In one year, the group that had the three, four-year-old with brain damage can speak the foreign language and the group that's normal cannot. How is that possible? Because even though their brains were injured, they're using it. So listen, if your friend call you brain damage, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, you're still using it. Amen? Brain damage is better than not using your brain. So yeah, I may be brain damaged, but I use whatever I have left. But you have a big brain, but you're not using it. So you got to use your brain. Yeah. So listen, the brain grows by use. So why, again, why do you study? To develop your brain. Why do you go to school? To train your mind. Why do you take exams? To be tortured. Partly true. But also that you develop your mind. Yeah. Amen. And I want to say this, listen. To be able to effectively serve God. I know many of you want to serve God. Want to do good in society, right? You got to use your brain. I mean, imagine right now, I can't even speak English. Imagine right now, I cannot logically put my message together. Imagine right now, I, I have no, don't use my brain at all. How can I serve God and build a church? Amen. Yes, prayer is important. Yes, spiritual life is important, but also you have a brain. If you want to serve God effectively, efficiently, use your brains. Develop your brain right now. Amen? Listen, your brain is, is like this. Use it or lose it. Use it or lose it. The more you use it, the better it becomes, the faster it becomes. The lesser you use it, the worse it is. Use it or lose it. Have you noticed after your six, seven weeks of holidays in December, in January, you kind of find it hard to start your brains? I mean, honestly, have you felt that? You, you tell all the people who go for national service, after two years, go back to university. They can't start their brains. See, your brains are like this. Use it or lose it. In the same um, research, in the same study about teenage brains, all right, your brain, not my brain, it says this, that the brain, the teenage brains, or, or rather all brains, also go through this process called pruning. What is pruning? The synapses or the connection that are not used will be pruned off or cut off. So the connections that are used will be strengthened, will be reinforced, will be thickened. But the connection that you do not use, your brain will automatically prune it away, cut it off. That is very interesting and how true. You know, I graduated from um, California University and this is my degree, all right? My degree says... I am a business graduate with a major in finance and a minor in Japanese. Can you believe it? I have a minor in my cert in Japanese. But don't wow, because I cannot speak any of it right now. Once upon a time, I used to be able to converse, I mean, not fluently, but a little bit by bit, intermittently in Japanese, I used to be able to write in hiragana. 
don't wow because now all I know is sashimi, Toyota, and Honda. That's all I know. Because I didn't use it. So because I didn't use it, I lost it. Use it or lose it. So you got to use your brain. If, if you don't use it, even what you have will be lost. You know, some of you will not know this. Most of you will not know this. But before the age of handphones, you know, when I was growing up, we used to have to memorize hand, uh, uh, phone numbers. But now you don't. Some of you don't even know your own handphone numbers because everything is in the memory. I used to be so good in memorizing phone numbers. Not only the numbers, I used to memorize the sequence where I pressed the dial. Oh, yeah, you, you never dial anymore. See, you use it or you lose it. Have you heard people say, wow, I'm old already, so I'm forgetful? No, no, no. It is not old people who forget things. It is retired people who forget things. Old people who uses their brains don't forget things unless they are really sick. But normal, healthy old people, they don't lose their memory. It is the retired people who don't use their brain who will lose their memories. Let me tell, ask you another thing. Have you noticed that, maybe you can't because you're a bit too young, but I have noticed that children of a newer, younger generation often are or appears to be smarter than the previous generation. Like, like all of you are just much smarter than Garrett and Charleston's generation. And they are much smarter than my generation. But is it true? Is it really because your genetic code is better? Because you eat caught fish or something? <laughs> no, it's because all of you start using your brain earlier at a younger age. Your exposure to stuff, to technology, and you start using your brains. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Another experiment, and, and you don't have to be a scientist to understand this. You take a 40-year-old man, all right? Uh, say, say he's from Singapore. He's Chinese, right? Take a 40-year-old man. He migrates to Germany, and now he has to learn to speak German. If he works very hard, he might be able to get it. But he has to work very, very hard. But you take a four-year-old, you take him out of Singapore, you throw him into Germany, you throw him into his friends in the kindergarten. Let me tell you, in six months, he'll be speaking German. Right? It's much easier for younger people. And, and this is important, the 40-year-old, works very hard, may learn to speak German. The four-year-old easily will speak German, but you know what? One thing will never change. The 40-year-old will always speak with an accent. He will never be able to speak pure German without an accent. There will always be an accent. But the four-year-old, no accent at all. He will speak like a native-born German. Why? It shows us something. That our brain, when you are young, when you are a teenager, you pick up stuff, you learn stuff easily, and you, it is not corrupted by experiences or anything else. So look, you are teenagers, you are at the best part of your life. If you want to learn languages, you learn it now, you will not speak with an accent. You learn it faster. If you want to learn piano now or guitar now, you pick it up much faster than a 40-year-old. And you go to school now, you learn stuff faster than easier than everyone else. So why do you study? To train your mind. This is the best time to do it. Turn to your neighbor and say, use it or lose it. <laughs> 